welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Emily. I'm the owner of Emily Page Company. I'm a 24 year old full-time small business owner based out of Columbus, Ohio. Before I start this video, I just wanted to say thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. I'm just extremely grateful for every single one of you who have interacted with my channel by liking, commenting, subscribing, just hanging out with me. I'm just so grateful for you guys. Starting fresh from a new platform, like what I'm doing with YouTube, I just had no expectations on how my first video would go. It's my first video. I was hoping that I did it right and that it just looked good. And my goal was 100 viewers. And right now as I'm making this, it is at 6,000 viewers, which is just craziness to me. I just was not expecting it to do as well as it has and I'm just really excited to continue to create content on this platform and just to hang out with you guys on here. This video is going to be a day in my life. Today is currently Monday, March 18th and we just got to the warehouse. If you guys didn't watch my first video, Parker and I do not come to the warehouse on to, on the weekends as of right now. Parker's my boyfriend. He's so lovely and he is also a full-time small business owner who has a section of the warehouse too. So we don't come to the warehouse on the weekends as of right now, but once market season starts at the end of April, which is about three, four weeks away, we're gonna be here pretty much every single weekend and longer hours. We do have a lot of double weekends, so whenever we have a Saturday or a Sunday open, then we'll be able to come to the warehouse and I'm just doing that so I can keep up with all my inventory and just my website and wholesale orders. It just helps a lot when I have like an extra day or so to work on things. We had a relaxing weekend and I got a lot of orders over the weekend. So we are here and ready for a busy day. First thing that I always do when I come to the warehouse is turn on my machines and get them all ready to start stitching for the day. So let's go do that. are cleaned and oiled. I have the heat on in here so I hope that you guys can hear me over it because the fan gets a little loud. So I want to show you what I'm running on my machines today. So on my first machine is my weekend is fully booked. This design is one of my best sellers and I'm always running it on at least one of my machines for website and wholesale orders. And then the second machine has good coffee, good mood, good day. This is one of my newest designs but it's a revamped design so I just made it new in embroidery. Um, I'm making these for my market this weekend that I have coming up on Sunday. And then this next one is Drink Coffee Read Books. I have a wholesale order that I need to finish for these that we'll also pack today later in the video. So I want to finish this order and this is everything I'm running on my machines today. Everything is coffee related, coffee and book related, which is really funny. <laughs> so let's start hooping my shirts and get them on the machine. wholesale order that I need to pick that's for some cups and you guys notice that this area might look a little different last week I went through all my cups and put them on pallets so every little row is a design a lot of these 20 ounces haven't released yet so this is like my 20 ounce row and then I have a 16 ounce row but I think it looks really good because I can kind of go through everything and see what I have and it's just easier for me to pack order. All right, this wholesale order she got three of my cherry cups so I have to go find these Nope. A not so fun fact about me is I have a fear of stink bugs and before we got the warehouse we put all of the cups in a storage unit and I'm a firm believer that that storage unit was infested with stink bugs. They're not all over the place because I killed a lot of them but 
I just have a fear of them. Like I can't, I can't deal with them. I just can't. But don't worry, I ended up getting the cups I needed. She actually just got three cups and then she got a ton of straws. And I haven't shown you guys where my straws are or kind of like the system I have for them. So I'm excited to show you guys kind of like what I do for my straws. This is where I keep all my straws, like my straw organized method. And these bins, I used to get asked so many questions when I would go live where I got them from. So they're from Uline and these are perfect for if you have like a smaller, tighter space that you just really need to utilize like all the space you have. These are really great and they come in so many different sizes too and colors. This row is where I keep my straight straws and they all come packaged too in these little slips. So we have my straight straws, my bent straws in this row. And then this row is like my fun squiggly straws. These always do so good on my website and I sell a lot of straws for wholesale too. And then this row is just for like my funky straws. These haven't released yet, but they're on my wholesale and they have been going like crazy. They're these really cute um, flower straws. So she got, she got five different straws. So I'm going to grab these real quick. Strolls. wholesale order before UPS got here because we have a pickup with them today and in my last video ironically they placed the big order with me it was 31 pieces of my weekend is fully booked for next and they placed another order with me so this is going to Faded Floral LLC and they are in Pennsylvania they ordered 13 pieces so they got seven of the good coffee good mood good day crew necks. And then they got six of the Drink Coffee Read books. This is on a gray crew neck with brown thread. All right, and this order is all ready to go all the way to Pennsylvania. I finished making all of my weekend is fully booked Kernex for orders and I'm running a new design on this machine and I wanted to show you guys which one it is. It's the all I need is books coffee cats and this one runs for 44 minutes. So one it takes 44 minutes to stitch out which is pretty long and then on the rest of my machines I'm just running more of good coffee good mood good day for my events. And I'm gonna put it on this machine too. So that's what's running now. I wanted to show you guys what the all I need is Book Coffee Cat's crew neck looks like. And the reason that it takes 44 minutes is just because there's so much detail and the stitching area is honestly kind of big, but this is what it looks like. It's super cute, look at this little fella.
you're new here, I mentioned this in my last video too. It's one of our favorite things about the warehouse. When we visited the warehouse for the first time, we were like, this is our selling point. So all of our windows are tinted, so you can't see in, but we can see out. And it's really perfect because this whole entire room is like lined with windows. And it's really great for summer too, because it's really cool in here because the windows are tinted, but that was just like chef's kiss when we visited for the first time and we were like yep we're getting this warehouse i've been obsessed with making these so it's a chicken caesar salad and then i put it in this little low carb wrap it is so good i just brought one with me today so i'm going to make this up and have this for lunch i'm waiting on ups to get here uh, parker left to go somewhere i forget where he said he was going but I'm waiting on the truck and sometimes I don't like to run my machines because I can't hear them over the UPS truck. So I'm just going to wait for them and have my little lunch. So while I make my cute little lunch, I wanted to share some fun facts about myself on here. I love when other creators do this. Literally my mind goes to blank when someone's like, say a fun fact about yourself. So I'm going to try my best. <laughs> So I went to college at Ohio University in Athens, Ohio. I love Athens so much. I miss it so much. And I got a degree in community and public health. So before I started my business, my goal was I just really wanted to work with the community and I was really interested in um, drug and mental health, like substance abuse and mental health because those always go together. And that's just what I wanted to do with my degree and I still graduated, but I just never used my degree. My favorite food is mac and cheese. I absolutely love mac and cheese. I can name my top five favorite mac and cheeses right now. Another fact about me is my whole life I've always had pets. I've always had cats and dogs. And even at a very young age, I was a really big cat lady. Um, I always had a cat growing up and now we have three girly pops. I showed them in my last video. They are Ivy, Puff, and Opal. I have a tattoo of Ivy, she's our first kitty. She's literally our queen. Another fun fact about me is I have a ton of tattoos. Started getting them in college and I love the way they look. Really beautiful and I can like express myself through body art. But I'm afraid of piercings. I have no piercings. I can do tattoos but not piercings. I got my ears done in high school I think and they got like really infected and it was just not for me. Piercings are not for me. Like just thinking about them just makes me cringe. Another fact about me is I may seem like an extrovert, but I'm a little bit of both. Like I love talking to people and like interacting with people and just, I'm, I could talk to you about the paint color on a wall. Like I am very talkative, but I'm also very introverted. Like when we're at home, I love just laying in bed with the cats and I just like need time. Like after I talk to people, I just need time to recharge. All right, y'all, this is what my lunch looks like. It looks so good. I definitely made like a lot of lettuce, but I'm gonna eat this. The time's currently around one and we're gonna leave at three today. So I'm gonna finish eating this and I will catch you guys what, whatever I do next. This is where we do all of our pickups and deliveries and UPS just got here. So I'm going to have them take all these packages. And then I think I have a few packages that are coming today that I'm really excited for, which I will definitely be doing an unboxing of them later. First order is for Esme. She is order 17,683 and she ordered a ghost cup. This one is on sale right now since it's seasonal. And then she also ordered a purple butterfly. She got two green squiggly straws and then two pink squiggly straws. This order is really fun because we have a seasonal one and one she can use, use year round too. These straws are my squiggly straws and they are definitely a favorite online, in person, and for wholesale. Her straws and then this is a thank you card. I include these with every single order. So the thank you cards on the back with a little discount code and then it comes with a little print too. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you, Esme. Next order up is for Chelsea. This is order 17,687 and it's a pretty big order. So Chelsea, if you're watching this, thank you so much. I'm assuming these are for gifts, so I'm excited. Chelsea ordered seven of the Citrus Daisy Cups. I believe these are out of stock, but I'm restocking all of my Daisy Cups the first week or the first day of April. So those are arriving here soon, which I'm really excited about. So these will all be restocked soon. And then she also got seven of the pink squiggly straws. And Chelsea also got seven lids too. These are so cute. Look how cute they turned out. Customers would come up to us and say that they would put like gift cards inside of them, candy, and then this is how they would gift them with like little goodies inside. That's a really good birthday and holiday idea. So let me go grab a box. gonna fill it with craft paper so nothing shifts in transit because with glassware if something shifts then it's more likely to break and I'm gonna include a little thank you card for her as well. Thank you so much, Chelsea. Chelsea is in New York, so I'm very excited for you to get this package. Thank you so much. Next order is for Sue, and this is her fourth order with me. This is order 17,693. She ordered a weekend. My weekend is fully booked crew neck, so I'm going to grab it. This is what the crew neck looks like. I launched my first bookish collection in November. And it was hands down one of my best collections I've ever released. It was really popular. In this specific design, I'm always making it. Even earlier in the video, I was making it my embroidery machine. So this one is a really popular design. So cute. I recently got these new thank you cards. I wanna say January. So I don't think Sue has gotten this yet. So I'm gonna include that in there for her. All of the poly mailers that you guys see me using, I get from Shipping Hip and I do have a discount code that you guys can use at checkout with her. So I'll link that in the description below. Thank you so much, Sue. I hope you love your new crew neck. Now that all my website orders are packed up, I'm going to pack a wholesale order that I have. This is going to something else downtown in Pennsylvania too. I'm really excited for this order. They have been um, one of my retailers for probably a close to two years now, which is really awesome. They ordered three cherry cups. Here's what they look like. The 16 ounce cherry cups. And all of my cups are dishwasher safe. I don't know if I mentioned that in this video already. Earlier in the video, I picked this order with you guys. So these are all of the straw she got. She got pink squiggly, pink straight, clear straight, and lavender straight straw. And then she also ordered 18 lids too. Here's what her order looks like. So let's pack it. People always ask me like how I pack my wholesale orders. So anything that's over 12 cups, I leave in the box. So what I do is I put the box in another box and like wrap it really good with packing peanuts. And then anything that's under 12 cups, so this is a three cup order, I wrap individually. So I have the cups on the right side and then I'm gonna put all of my accessories, like my lids and my straws on the left side. like and like I said you want to put as much as you can in there so nothing shifts or if something shifts it's more than likely going to break and I'm gonna include her packing slip too just so she can make sure that she got everything that she ordered
All right, this order is all ready to go. And again, it's going to something else downtown in Pennsylvania. I'm really excited for them to receive this package. All right, that's all the packing that I have to do today. And I got a few packages from UPS that just got delivered and I'm really excited to open them. So let's do a little unboxing. This first box, I'm so excited to open. So ironically, a lot of you commented on my last video, like, oh, you should use magnetic hoops. You should look at Mighty Hoops. They found me, they reached out to me, and I'm officially doing a collaboration with them. So also in the description, I'll have a discount code for you guys. I'm really excited to collaborate with them. I've been wanting to try these out for pretty much ever since I started embroidery. I hear so many people talk about them and so much good things too. So let's just unbox this. I think I know what they sent me, but I'm not 100% sure, but I'm excited. We got, don't know what this is yet. Heavy. I'm so excited. Guys, look how cool this is. Okay. I watched a few YouTube videos on kind of like how to use their products, but I'm still not like 100% sure how to use them. So it's going to be a learning process for me. So we got another package in here. Oh, so this is their Hoop Master. I'm so excited to try this out. I think this will just help me speed up the process of hooping my design. Okay, next up, we got, ooh, we got the hoop, we got the hoop. On my single needle machines, I got a magnetic uh, hoop for my single needles, but I haven't tried a magnetic hoop for my multi needles yet, but I'm very excited for this. So they sent over the 6.25 inches. All of my designs are eight by seven. I've never used a bigger hoop or smaller hoop, so I think this will work out perfect. Oh, and then I think these are for the um, hooping station. All right, so all that's in this package is the hooping station with metal legs, the adjustable fixture for standard station, which I think is this. And then the Mighty Hoop that I just said, the 6.25 inches. And then I got the fold-in bag too. And then I think this is the fold-in bag. Ooh, I'm excited guys, look how pretty it is. Right now I used um, like the t-shirt folder. If you guys know what I'm talking about, like the square and then you fold it over. And then I've learned how to do it without it but I'm excited to see the difference between the t-shirt folder that's like five bucks on Amazon versus this. I think this will just make it look really cool and then you can adjust. So like if you have a 3X, you can adjust it or if you have a smaller size like an XL, then you can adjust it more inward. Wow, just more, ooh, I like that. Okay, perfect. I'm excited guys. Like I said, I'm partnering with Mighty Hoops. I'm really excited to test this out. I think I'm going to test it out tomorrow just to kind of see the difference. Um, I'm really happy. I'm super grateful to be collaborating with them. And if you guys are interested in purchasing anything off Mighty Hoops, I do have a discount code that you guys can use. It's for free shipping, which I mean, who doesn't love free shipping? So I'll link that down below for you guys too. The second package that I got today was a restock on my tote bags. I'm a really big tote bag girl, like that's Literally all I use, I don't use purses at all, just totes. And I thought these totes were absolutely adorable. I do have a pink bow tote bag on my website in wholesale that's been doing really, really good. And I have a wholesale order that I need to make for 10 of them. I'll post a little picture up here what the pink tote bags look like, but they're doing so good. And these are so cute, so I got some more pink ones. I know I have some girlies who are more neutral and honestly, these are unisex. These could be for men too, but they're just black toe bags. And I think I'm gonna do like a coffee lover design on them. I think that would be really cute. So I just got some black ones as well. I wanted to share with you guys these tote bags that I have coming up for markets that I think are just absolutely so cute. So if you're in Ohio, I will only have these at my Ohio markets. This first one says go Bobcats. It is for Ohio University. Uh, their mascots are the Bobcats and I went to OU and I thought this was really, really cute. And then the second one says Go Bucks for the Ohio State Buckeyes. I thought these were really cute and unisex. 
So I'm gonna bring these to my market that's this weekend and we'll see how they do. So with my tote bags, I prefer to embroider them on my single needle machines versus my multi-needle machines. I just find it easier to hoop them with my single needle machine and the details like really fine on them and smaller. So I just want to keep them on my single needle machines, but I don't think I'll have enough time to start this order today, but I do have 10 of these to make. So I will probably make those tomorrow so that I can include them in my pickup tomorrow too. We just got home from the warehouse and I love coming home because the girls always get so excited to see us. Obviously Opal is most excited to cuddle and then Bunny is always so excited to see Parker but I'm going to be playing with the kitties probably for the next like half hour just because I miss them all day. Hello, how was your day? How was your day? This is Ivy, and her nickname is Couch Potato. Hi. The time is 7 p.m., and I'm currently in bed, just chillaxing, watching Grey's Anatomy, and doing a little something. I am really excited to share with you guys. I got accepted into a market last week that I did not think I was going to get accepted into. The market is in October. It's called Charm at the Farm in Cincinnati, Ohio. Last year, I did their June event. Got denied from out October, so they do three events um, for the year. June, August, and October, and I got into the October one, wasn't expecting it. I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna apply, see what happens, and I got in, which is awesome. So what I'm doing right now is I am doing my booth layout. So this market is a three-day market, so I'm just prepping, kind of, I'm an overthinker, so I'm prepping my booth layout to see if I need to order more bookshelves and racks, because that weekend we're also doing a double market. So we'll be in Cincinnati Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then we'll be at German Village in Columbus, Ohio on Sunday. And last year, that was my highest revenue market, so this weekend is going to be nuts. So I'm just planning now for it and just kind of figuring out my booth layout. So I'm going to be doing this the rest of the night. I'm going to end the video here. I am so grateful, so thankful that you guys watched this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. My next video will be a market day vlog on Sunday, which I'm really excited about. I'm excited to take you guys along with me. I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.